Hi everyone, welcome to the Triassens Martial Art Channel. So before we start today's video, I'd just like to let everybody know, you know in case you're wondering, is that you know I've had my first uh, COVID vaccination injection. You do too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're now both halfway through vaccination. And then, well, apparently there's a first shot that is required. This is the third shot. Yeah, about well, apparently, but yeah. But the second shot should be sufficient, well, it, right? It, yes, yeah. It's for the Delta variant. Oh, Delta variant. Well, it's like but, a. But anyway, but I think two shots is. Yeah, that's like a patch. Sure. Two shots. It's like a patch to a to a to a to a antivirus. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't. Know. It's like an update the, patch. The, the nurses are cute, so I don't know. They are. Yeah. Uh, it depends on <laughs> your preference. Yeah. Just say. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so my viewers, I hope you also get yourself vaccinated if possible. And if you haven't got around to the queue, I do hope that you, you get your, your chance as soon as possible. And those of you that are on the fence about whether you should take vaccination, uh, personally, I would recommend you to do it because the, um, the side effect of vaccination is far less likely to happen than the chance of you actually catching COVID and getting some serious damage from that. And of course, even if you've got vaccinated, it doesn't give you, it doesn't mean you are bulletproof. You know, you still got to wash your social distance, wear your mask, wash your hand. Everything is still apply. It just means that you are far less likely to contract the virus and get sick or possibly die. Okay. Anyway, so I'd like to you know let everybody know about that in case you guys were wondering about it. Uh, you know, we do support vaccination. We're not like those dumbass anti-vaxxers. Vaccination are important, and you know, even beside your own benefits, getting vaccinated help towards the global herd immunity, which is what we need to eventually get over this, this pandemic, right? If people are, are not vaccinating, we can't get over this pandemic to be here forever. And I'm pretty sure none of us want that. All right, so with that out of the way, today we're gonna have another episode, I believe episode four of Style Deconstructed, right? It's a new series of videos that I've made to talk about um, to look, have a deeper look at the styles that I've done in the past and talk about its strengths and weaknesses. So this all started when I had a video called Outcomes Mantis. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, feel free to check it out. It's a video where I talk about what kind of battle tactic or combat approach my lineage of Mantis taught me and why I don't think that the Mantis I learned is as good as the other stars that I've came across, like Yi Quan, Tai Ji, and Wu Xing Tong Bei. So in that video, I talk about uh, why the Mantis uh, application doesn't actually work the way that they wanted to. So if you haven't watched it, do check it out. Today, we're gonna do a follow-up on the Mantis star that I've done, right? So I, I emphasize that this is a Mantis star that I've done. It's not any other Mantis star out there. There's many different type of Mantis. I personally did the Beijing's Ma family plum flower mantis. And then my uh, grandmaster, Ma Han Qing, he learned his mantis from Shandong. So it is kind of legit, but of course, every lineage changed to their own flavor. So I can't represent every mantis. I'm only speaking of the mantis that I'm doing. And upon speaking with one of my Patreon supporters, I believe his name is Anish. Uh, I do apologize if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. I don't really know how to pronounce a lot of these names that are not common uh, in the world I live. But uh, Anish, I hope that's the correct name, he was you know, having a discussion with me regarding uh, my content. And he mentioned that you know, I only focused on the technique, the technique and application side of these external styles and you know, I didn't cover any of the, 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 the deeper mechanics. And I thought about it. Why is it true that you know, the, my experience of Mantis when it comes to combat, it's mostly just this technique, that technique, how this counters that, you know, like in that video with, with, with Sean where he punches, you know, the most classic one, double ceiling hand, lowering his hand, uh, catching his hand, and do a, do a hook, if he blocks that, I come across here, do a punch. You know, that's the majority of the stuff I learned from my man's lineage. But upon further thinking, I did realize that I also learned something else from Mantis. And to be fair, I think I should, you know, talk about the bad and the good. So there are some, some good things that I came out of my Mantis experience, and today we're going to talk about that. And basically it is the Mantis bodywork and the Mantis footwork. Okay, this is not another thing that I'm going to quickly talk about. Um, so if you've been following my channel, you know that recently I've been starting to make short videos. 
you know, just testing out how uh, viewers respond to a video that's like you know four to eight or nine minutes long, and see if they actually get more views than the longer videos. And it seems that I do get a lot more response from viewers and comments, etc. So I decided I'm gonna you know sometimes make shorter videos when the theme allows it. And then at the time I am gonna still make long videos like this one. I can't make it too short because I have to talk about a very specific mechanic and to really explain it, you know, to an extent that even people who never trend mantis can understand, it does take time. So just bear with me if you're interested in this topic, that this video will not be as short as the other videos that I've uploaded in more recent time. Right, so we're talking about body work and footwork. In Chinese we call it shen fa and bu fa. Right, so shen means body, fa means the way or the guideline or the method. Bu obviously means step and fa again means you know the way, the guideline or the method. So body mechanic in mantis regard, it just means the way you move your body and foot. And personally, I think it's different to body mechanic when we are talking about internal style. But of course that is my personal opinion because I think internal style has a much more comprehensive understanding to body mechanic, compression, expansion, rotation, opening, closing of joints, rebound force, those are more complex compared to what Mantis seen as body mechanic. Uh, but of course to a Mantis practitioner, he probably thinks this is as far as body mechanic goes. He limited to his understanding if he never done internal style, but he wouldn't know the actually deeper things going on in the body. So I just want to point out that for me those two are different, but they kind of have the same term, which is body mechanics. So when I talk about Mantis body mechanic, don't confuse this with the full fundamental force of, of internal. They are not the same thing. They just happen to share the same name. And of course in Chinese, uh, Shen Fa right, talks about the way you move your body, the way, Bu Fa means the way you move your step. It doesn't translate to the same as in internal style, we'll talk about you know, jian jia jie gou. that's actually body mechanic in Chinese for internal style. Jie, jian jia jie gou. Jian jia means the framework, and jie gou means the structure. So, so in Chinese, Shen Fa doesn't mean the internal compression expansion or those things are not shit. Just that in English, they happen to be the same word. So don't get confused between external styles body mechanic and internal styles body mechanics that are not the same. All right. So what is body mechanic in mantis? So this is actually something that I only discovered while learning mantis. And you might think, how is that possible? Because I've done other styles before. I went into plant form mantis, which happened to be in 2003. Before that, I did Shao Bei Quan. I did Ba Yuan Tong Bei. And even did some seven star mantis from my dad's friend, uh, Master Zhang Yin Chao. But through all these, I didn't quite be exposed to the same type of body mechanic that the Ma family plant for mantis were required. So in the last, last episode of Start This Deconstructed, we showed you uh, Shao Bei Quan, right? And you can see Shao Bei Quan is quite crude in terms of body mechanic. If I'm doing a punch, why don't you just go side, sideways or this way? Well, this one, you know, it's mostly your body just follow what your arm is doing. You know, if you punching forward, your body move forward. If this arm goes forward, your body move go forward. So it doesn't require any specific attention. And of course, by by your tong bei, right? It's mostly just going to do a on by tong bei. But it's mostly you know just the arm that goes like a whip. It's one of the basic techniques. Or like here, is. The up body involved, of course, but it isn't dead slow, but they don't require any complex or, or any more emphasis on the way the body moves. And there are other styles out there, I'm not going to call names, but there are styles out there where it, it predominantly happens on the arm, the body almost da, 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 doesn't move, it's the arms that does all the t technique. The body just stays here, and it's the arms that, that move. And I'm not saying they're bad, but they're just different approaches, and if you do those kind of martial arts, then chances are you don't know what mantis means when it comes to body mechanic. And when I first did mantis was with my mantis teacher, uh, Ma Wei Ling Lao, Lao Shi. Uh, he keep telling me that you know your body is not moving, you gotta use your body mechanic, you don't have And I couldn't understand that, I was like, why I don't have shen fa? My body is moving with my arms. But when I later point, I realized that in mantis, the body is required to drive the hand and the arm in different type of motion. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples here just to illustrate the point, right? Uh, just random stuff that are taken off from different forms. So like, you know, in Bai Yuan Tou Tao, where you step this way, that's like an example of body mechanics. So your body have to, well, it's actually a body mechanic and footwork, right? Uh, body work and footwork, they kind of um, 
goes ha ha hand in hand. So I step to the side, catch, the body kind of, you know, ducks to the side, hit, and then he maybe turns around and do another punch. So that event will, will be considered as shen fa. Um, another example from the, the, the same form like, later on here, you know, we'll be catching the hand here, hit, hit, and then uh, bang jo, supporting elbow. That will, be, that will be considered a body mechanic. For example, if you don't have body mechanic, it will look something like, like this. It will look something like... Right, that's if my body don't move at all. But the correct way is that your body has to kind of lead it. Right, like it leans forward to accelerate the punch. It leans away. And then comes back. So the reason for this, um, we're going to get to later on, but it's, you know, it's to have Sometimes for evasion purpose, sometimes to accelerate the, the force. Um, another body mechanic footwork that I can show you is from Ba Zhou, right? The eight elbow. At the point there's a move that goes like this. Okay, so again, if you do it slower, you can see that you start here, right? The body is facing forward and it ducks to the side and it dodges back and it comes that way again. So these are all considered as body work or footwork, a body mechanic, depending on how you want to translate it. Um, actually, let's just put this into context. Yeah? Otherwise, I don't think people can, can, can understand. Right, so the first one from Bayern Toe Tao, that one just, uh, he punched with that, that hand, it's here, and I, and I hit him. So it's like, you know, I'm evading the punch. Right? So he's hit, hitting here, I want to evade it, and then hit to there, and as he blocks that, so I'm gonna take it back and then punch him through there. So that's the, the first one. Okay, so the, the next part is basically when I catch this hand, I'm gonna catch this to a forward hook, and as he blocks this, I'm gonna either hook this way or, or this way, and pull it back and do a backwards hook this side. So it's a full, it's a full hit, backwards hit, and then if, if both doesn't work so well, then I'm gonna come back here and trap him and then try to throw him off balance with supporting elbow, bang zhou. So that'll be that. And the next one is basically, uh, so basically it's here, I'm gonna do, oh sorry, it's so, so, so it's here, I'm gonna you see punches. Again, right, I'm not saying these applications are efficient or effective in real combat. I don't think they are. This is just to show you how body work kind of goes into the intended application. So it'll be here. And it'll be a, a so I'll be basically facing the front, and I'll suddenly slip to the side and then hit the ribs. And when he blocks that, so I catch this hand and then come here and then go for, for the head. And if he blocks that, that so come around again and then go for the elbow. So you can see how it kind of shift left, right, left, and the, and it's not just the foot that's working, right? Uh, let's take that last example again. Uh, that hand. So it's not just. I'm stepping here, I'm stepping there, and I'm stepping here. Right? It's not just the foot, but the body is the one that, that drives the, the motion here. And then there. And again. And then there. So that's what Manson means by, by body work or body mechanic, right? Uh, and you can see that it goes hand in hand with bu fa, shen fa and bu fa go together. Lastly, um, the one that really made me realize what body mechanic is in uh, Plum Form Mantis is from Fan Che, right, the, the water wheel. So this is the part where it uh, goes here, and then there, 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 and there. So you see that through the whole motion, if I don't do it with body mechanic, it will just look like this. And there might be stars out there that, that does it this way, Obviously, you know, again, it's not wrong if they start to see it that way, but in my lineage of mantis, that would be considered incorrect. Instead, when you hear your body have, have to pull and then extend, right, and then rotate, and then pull and then extend. And the body kind of pushes the punch out. It's not just the arm moving, it's the body that helps with the punch. So in this sense, it looks similar to internal martial arts, right? The punches are not launched purely by your arm. Instead, you rotate your whole body into the punch. But that doesn't make it internal. Because internal styles does this as well. 
if you're not clear on what's internal and what's external, then obviously, you know, uh, I have a video on that already in the past. Uh, if you don't know what what cla what classifies internal and external, but this is not it, right? This isn't what makes this a style internal or external. A lot of style, even you know, even karate, knows how to use the body when you do a punch. So that's not not it. But it's more similar to internal's idea of punching with the whole body than some of the other external style that only focus on using the arms. Okay, so this is a a disparity among external styles on how much body to use. And in that regard, Mantis is one of the styles in the external category that uses more body than all the other styles. So hopefully by now you understand what I'm talking about when I say uh, shen fa and bu fa, right? The, the body work, the footwork, or the body mechanic, and the foot mechanic. Um, next, we're gonna talk about uh, why it is good, and you know, why is this a valuable lesson I learned from Mantis? Right? Before I did Mantis, I didn't actually know about this. I was probably doing the, the form just with the arms. I wasn't actually using the body. So why is that good? Firstly, it kind of helps you to unify everything. Although Yiquan made it far superior in my opinion, in my experience, Yiquan was better in unifying my entire body. But Mantis kind of helped me to at least uh, fix the issue where my arms and legs are doing separate things and the body is just staying there. It, it allows me to realize that everything has to move together. Okay, so that's kind of a, an advantage. And secondly, the way managers use the body work, it does help you in evasion technique. Right? Mantis is one of the styles in Chinese martial arts that has evasional techniques that are very similar to boxing. For example, um, take example from Beng Bu. Right, one of the half out mantis forms. In the beginning, there's a move that starts here, and there, and there. So that's a very simple uh, evasion. So what the intended for is when the guy punches, if you do that, you hit him on the roof. And assuming the punch doesn't come back, then you, then you pull, pull him in, and you follow up with the next technique. In the same form, Bung Bu, but from the Shandong, same start lineage, it looks like this. You can see that it's a different move, but it's the same concept. So again, if somebody punches you, you want to touch this and punch him there. And then from there, they go into a, a tunnel bu, bu, bu chan, so it's right here. So you can see that this is an example of how mantis evade punches. And I do know for a fact that a lot of the martial arts styles in China doesn't have this kind of evasion. So in that sense, uh, it is one thing that mantis has that are better than a lot of the other uh, external styles in China. Another example of this can be seen from you know from here, right? I don't really remember what form this is from. It could be from Fan Che. I'm not too sure. But um, what essentially this is for is when somebody punches you, you evade backwards. So you know if I'm here, you're gonna hit, hit, hit me. And that's the moment you evade backwards, and then yeah, I'm here. I evade backwards, and I'm gonna come forward with, with a hook. And when he blocks the hook, then I'm gonna come back and hit his legs. So again, I'm not here to talk about the efficiency of this application, but just the idea of moving back and forth. How I'm, I'm finding here, when you throw the punch, I can come back to do a, a parry shot, and then come, and then come forward with a hook. Which is almost similar to how boxing does the uh, bob and weave and, and slip. How sometimes they also, you know, we're leaning back, and once the punch goes back, then they'll come back with, with their own attack. So it's a little similar, not exactly the same, what you can see is that if you can do this, you do have certain advantages in a, in a fight. Of course, all the hooking hand and grabbing and trapping doesn't work, in my opinion. You know, I've made a video about it already. But the body work side can work. If you, you, know, if you can try to dodge a straight punch, and then you can, you, know, you can learn to move back, and then come back with another punch, these things, or even uh, like the other one, right, where if he does a punch, I'm going to do this and, do, and go to the side. Then it will serve a similar function to if you were doing boxing. Because these are all the type of slips. I mean, often boxing are different. But method is more flexible when it comes to moving the body. Why isn't they straight? Okay, it's constantly moving. Of course, internal style have a good reason why the body needs to be up straight. So they don't want you to lean forward and lean back. It, 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 uh, it destroys the structure, body mechanic, how to generate power and how to break ideal structure. 
So this, there's no right and wrong here, just different beliefs. But in Mansus, because they kind of can go forward and go back, it allows for a more flexible tactic. Now, and the quote I keep saying, body work go hand in hand with footwork. So by able to, to hit forward and lean back, and you can slip and you can jump back, and then, yeah, so like if you hand back, and you jump back and then come back forward. So it allows a more, a bit of mobility, where you know, you kind of stepping around on your front toes more than on your flat foot. And like some stuff where they, they fight on flat foot, and just kind of have this habit of, of, of tiptoeing, which allows them for better movement. Um, and you know, so it's like, you know, I can, I can come this way, hit, and then you know, when he will respond, I can quickly flip around to that, that side. So it is more mobile that way. And I do think this is a good part of Mansus. And this is where I you know, first experienced and learned about how to you know, move the body to evade attacks rather than you know, standing the body up straight and just block. So, this, so these are two main reasons. Well, one is that you can have good evasion. And the other reason is that it helps you with acceleration of the force. So um, let's just say... Yeah, let, let's just say I take this, this on this example. So if I if my body doesn't work, doesn't move, and I just move my arm and I do a punch, you can basically see that even though I, I might have power and I go to move him, uh, these are two separate powers that are not interacting with one another. However, if I could use my side state the body, then always naturally have more force. And this force is then feeding onto the other force as well. Because it's, I'm doing one circle that, that connect both moves rather than just this. So that's the advantage of body work. But of course, if you know, my effect on him is more than this man's body work. It's from internal training, closing, uh, opening of shoulder blade, all of that stuff, which is why when I use my body, then you know, that ha ha happens. Obviously, if you just do mantis, this may or may not happen depending on your personal strengths. So, um, so this is a good example just to show the pure efficiency of man's body work. But what is the fact is that if you move your body, you have better effect than if you do, do this. That definitely has you less result than if you're using your body or, you know, or, or this way, right? So therefore the body work does accelerate with your power. And of course, um, you know, if I follow by that example, if I just punch him like this, it's going to be less painful than if I, if I extend the body naturally because there's more movement involved, it's going to hurt more. Problem to that, obviously, is that you are, you are kind of overextending. If you want to do like a full body, body work kind of punch, so it kind of prevents you from doing short attacks. It kind of has to be extended and long. And if you miss the attack, then you might have a problem. And quite possibly this is why back in the days they favored these kind of grabbing techniques. You people like to extend their punches. You know, if I send my punch and I miss, then you can grab my, my, my hand. And that, that's where all the mental techniques would, would actually work. But obviously in today's world where people don't extend their limbs anymore, where people actually fight close up, and when they throw punches, they do really attract them. It's not that safe to body mechanic a long punch. Um, there are going to be people who are going to argue that that's not how you actually punch in a fight. But my kind of argument is that, you know, the, the, the fact that they train like that will more, more certainly mean they used to fight like this. It's just that it's not applicable anymore. And therefore, nowadays people who are practical minded, they realize it doesn't work and therefore they need to change. But when you do this, you, have, you should be honest about the change that you're doing in this age or your master did it in his time, but it cannot have to happen back in the Qing Dynasty. Otherwise, the man's practice will look very different to what is today. It's illogical to think that you train one way, you fight another. That's not something that a practical minded person would ever come up with. So most in the, in the, in the back in the days, if they came up with the training this way, it means that that is what they intended to use when they fight. So this is one problem, right? And in, the, in this case, I do believe in internal martial arts are still having the upper hand because they still use body work, but they don't have to overextend. For example, right, if you haven't known this already, but you should check my e videos. If I'm, if I'm doing e and I'm trying to just come before the camera, yeah. if I'm going to punch, it's just zip. The, 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 all the body mechanics happen zip. Obviously, I'm not hitting him for, 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 for real. Um, 
But the thing is, if you look, the, okay. it, just, it just looks like that. That's all the body mechanic that is. I don't need to extend it to have that effect. And that's because it has a much more refined connection through the body. I'm still using the body. I'm not, not using the body. But I don't need that massive um, extension like these or like that. Okay? Which means I can afford to get to a guy closer and hit him at a much quicker rate. So instead of doing that, I could just be there. And, 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 already, and that one already included my body weight into the past. Um, obviously, I believe you guys should have watched my Ishan video for now, but just in case you haven't, um, to illustrate this point, uh, let's just do one, right? So, if I'm not using the correct body mechanic, if I just extend the movement, I'll have to do this to a person to actually break his balance. But with the correct body mechanic, uh, each body mechanic, I'll just be, be there. You see how I don't have this whole motion. It's, I can just have my hand in there. And then with uh, sending someone, okay, if you don't know, uh, just quick recap, sending is a way to test your structure and how you generate a force. Um, it's kind of tall, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I said probably, right? Yeah. So, so when you send someone, instead of you know, doing this and using my whole, so this is like, what mantis would do, right? You have to extend everything to have the, the, the effect. But when we have to create internal body mechanic, I just simply come do this and have simply, and I'm not even using full force, right? If I add a bit more of the, the spine. So that is the difference in body mechanics. So in that regard, I don't think mantis is as good in internal styles, but it's certainly better when it comes to external styles in terms of body mechanics. And if you can't catch somebody with those, fully uh, body evolved then the punches, it's gonna hurt. So that's basically my experience uh, of my family tidy plum flower mantises body mechanic. Um, so I hope that you find this interesting and maybe it has something that you didn't know about before. And if you are doing external styles like mantis, then be aware of, of your body leading the hand is uh, you know, an important practice. Anything you wanna add? Well. You've you done this back in the day, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. You have any sort on it? No, not really, because I haven't, uh, I haven't quite used it uh, uh -huh. in, a, in a real fight. Uh -huh. So, um, uh, obviously, there's. Um, well, uh, actually, you don't you fight. Do you, you will see. No, it's, uh, it's because when I fight, I fight out the farm. Uh -huh. No offense to you. Uh, but basically, what, uh, what, the, what that means is that when I fight, I don't use any of these techniques. I just. You know, mine goes blank. Exactly. Uh, so that's why. So, so I haven't I ever managed to use it properly. To be I oh yeah, there's one more thing, right? Somebody might think, okay, if, if, if Mantis is like boxing, wouldn't it just be as good as boxing? Unfortunately, no. Um, it's similar to boxing in some aspect, like, like you know, the flexibility of, of the legs and the, and the, and the body mo motion. But fundamentally, it is not boxing. And while it can have some similar result as boxing, but if that's the kind of result you're after, you're better off just doing boxing. Because boxing is a more refined package of exactly just that. Good footwork, good you know, slipping, uh, bob and weave, body work, you know, good punches, and then, you know, good reflex, stamina training. It has everything in it already. So man just doesn't have anything extra to offer if that's the kind of fighting method you are trying to learn. Which is why even though man just came out with something similar to boxing, Personally, on efficiency, I do think boxing is still superior in general, right? Obviously, two person of, of, of different uh, body capacity, different physical condition, different training background, it's not, gonna, you know, it's not gonna be the same. But if under the same context, I do think boxing is still better than mantis, especially because a large portion of mantis practice is focused on things that doesn't work, like what, what I've you know, already talked about in the Occam Mantis uh, video how the application is, is impractical. So if you were to do mantis, but only one the useful part, the footwork and, and the body work, you know, you might not well just go to boxing. It's, it's a better uh, choice. Okay, so that, that's why even though there are some similar stuff, doesn't mean it, it's, it's a suitable replacement. And that's another important thing that I always try to stress in my videos, is that you have to be realistic on your training. Like how you fight, you should train like that. If any training you do doesn't contribute to how you fight, 
then you shouldn't train it. It's it actually a waste of time. And that's the problem with Chinese martial arts in general. So many styles train these things that don't actually help them in a fight. So if you train Chinese martial arts forms, you find like Sanda, just do Sanda and forget about doing those forms. Unless you want to do it for, for some party trick. So that's my personal opinion on Plum Fundamentals and my family version that I personally spent years training. So I hope you find this interesting. And if you do, please subscribe on my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you can get updated on new content release as soon as possible. And if you can support me on Patreon, that would be greatly appreciated. And I have a whole list of Patreon exclusive videos on India's understanding on the four fundamental forces, as well as various of the other content that are not on the public uh, content selection. So if you can support me on Patreon, you can get access to all these videos. And of course, you'll be supporting my personal endeavor, which is to combat misinformation and spread correct knowledge and logical understanding to Chinese traditional martial arts. And lastly, I have a shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for your support, especially through this pandemic. Your support and appreciation is very much valued by me personally. That let me know that there are people out there who treasure my content and the knowledge and information I'm trying to share. But there's nothing worse than not that the feeling of not being appreciated by the community. So your support is very, very valuable to me. And a special shout out to John, my new Patreon supporter. Thank you so much for joining me. I've messaged you already, but I'm going to just mention it here again. Always feel free to contact me with any questions to current content or suggestions for future content. So anything that you think I can you know, provide as a service to you uh, for being a Patreon supporter, always feel free to let me know. Lastly, remind you we are still in the pandemic. So keep your social distance, wear your mask, wash your hand, and get your vaccination. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Triassens Martial Channel.